Hey guys, I have not made a video in a minute. Uh, I'm about to make some lasagna. We're having some friends over. So I'm gonna show you how I make my lasagna. All right, so first off, I start off with some olive oil. I'm gonna dice some onion and throw it in here. You guys, I'm calling this an American style lasagna because I feel like if I called it Italian, every Italian grandmother that ever made a real lasagna would be turning over in their grave at this point. I'm using powdered Parmesan cheese, like store-bought mozzarella. So here I'm just sauteing these onions down till they're pretty translucent. And this looks like a lot of onions. I do like a lot of onions in my uh, meat sauce just because they pretty much turn into just flavor. You, you don't really get the texture of the onion and I love the flavor. After the onions have cooked down for a bit, I add my ground beef. Here I'm using just over one pound of ground beef. I'd say around a pound and probably about six ounces. And I'm just gonna brown that with the onion. And here I'm just adding some garlic powder and a little bit of salt, a very little bit of salt because I am using Vegeta. Okay guys, so this is called Vegeta. And I use this for so much of all of my cooking that I do. But I'm gonna put a little bit of this into season the ground beef. And it's, um, it's vegetable base and it is a little bit higher in sodium. This one is no MSG. There's also an MSG version of it. I will link it below, but um, you just have to use a little bit and it gives all your food this really savory umami flavor that I just can't live without since using this. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this into the ground beef here that I am browning. I'm using about one tablespoon's worth of Vegeta. and that will give it a great flavor. Here I've got 32 ounces of whole milk ricotta cheese and my toddler did take a taste out of the top there when I was not looking. So just put this into your big bowl and kind of break up a little bit. And then you're going to add some shredded mozzarella, both of these items I just got at the local grocery store and here I'm just shredding the mozzarella cheese. I'm going to use about a cup and a half, I want to say, in this recipe. And here I'm just adding the mozzarella cheese to the ricotta cheese and after that I will be adding some diced uh, chopped up parsley and this is just fresh parsley yes babe add that to the bowl and then I will be adding about a cup of this uh, grated parmesan it's the powdered kind and it's what I had in my pantry at the time and I find that it works just fine so this is, like I said, about a cup, maybe a cup and a half. It is very salty, so I chose not to salt this mixture. And I did add two eggs to this off camera. And I also added some garlic powder. And just mix everything until really well incorporated and refrigerate while you wait for the sauce. And right here, I'm just adding two of these jars that I get at Sam's Club to the meat and onion mixture and i'm just gonna let this simmer for like 25 minutes just a slow bubbly simmer 
and like I said that mixture of ricotta cheese and everything goes in the fridge while you're waiting this for this to simmer and I will cover it up and just let that cook for a while now comes the fun part guys the layering part so I will take my pan and I will layer a layer of this meat and tomato sauce first and then I will put a layer of noodles and then I will put a layer of the ricotta cheese mixture and then another layer of noodles and then another layer of sauce and you can really like do whatever you want but just make sure that you always put a layer of the meat sauce or tomato sauce down first into the lasagna pan but this portion of making the lasagna is literally just layering and playing tetris with the lasagna noodles and layering some more and um, just trying to shove as many layers as you can of all of these yummy ingredients and uh, it's it's just so tasty as you guys can plainly hear my house is definitely full of life and here I'm just layering on some of the ricotta mixture and once it kind of warms up from the warmth of the tomato and meat sauce it's much easier to spread around and just spread an even thin layer of this and then layer again with the sauce my two-year-old and my nine-month-old are having a blast right now and my husband decided to vacuum while i was filming this so that's what you you've got <laughs> but um, at the end I just throw on whatever ricotta mixture I have left onto the meat sauce I will cover that with mozzarella cheese and pop it in the oven I'm going to bake in the oven at 375 covered for quite a while about 45 minutes just until it bubbles take the foil off and then bake a little bit longer uncovered just to make the edges of the mozzarella nice and golden. Pro tip, kind of tent your foil so that it doesn't touch the cheese. Otherwise, the cheese will stick to it. This comes out so perfect every time, you guys. The amount of tomato, like acidity to the smoothness of the ricotta it's just so delicious and not overly seasoned but seasoned like just enough i love this lasagna my family loves it thanks so much for watching i hope you guys try this recipe